You may know or not know, but Zapier has released a new feature called Central. In today's video, we're going to see how we can leverage that in the context of Google Sheets and Excel. What Zapier Central allows us to do is talk to a chatbot like interface, but automatically do tasks within our business through just simple conversation. So in today's video, we're going to leverage create behavior and data sources to expedite our workload when it comes to data input for Excel Sheets. To showcase this, we're going to go ahead and use a fake invoice PDF. From there, we're going to go ahead and extract relevant data that we care about in that PDF and automatically put it into a Google Sheet. Let's jump in. In today's video, I'm just going to give you a very simple example of how to extract data and push it towards an Excel Sheet slash Google Sheet. You can go ahead and use this in your business's specific context. Now, the way I would approach this as an optimal way of approaching this kind of workflow is that the data that you provide the bot, as you'll see, make it as big as possible. So for example, if you have 10 invoices, you want to run through this workflow, do 10 invoices. If you want to do 20, whatever it may be, you can apply this and use this logic past the example I'm showing you today. This is purely just to show you how to optimize and leverage the ability to connect Google Sheets, Zapier Central, and everything above the board. Let's jump in. So if you don't know what Zapier Central is, it's a brand new tool that Zapier released, I believe like one or two weeks ago. I'll go ahead and link that video up there. Very general overview of basically what we can do with the tool. This video though, as you probably already know, is dedicated towards Excel and Google Sheets. Corbin, this isn't an Excel. This is not Microsoft Excel. This is Google Sheets. I get it. I get it. You don't have to tell me the comments. I know there's a difference, but both serve the same purpose. Right now, Microsoft Excel does not integrate with Zapier flawlessly. Therefore, we are going to lay towards Google Sheets in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and begin. So I went ahead and played around with this before. This is actually a lot simpler than you think it would be. So all we're gonna do is this. When we provide you with a data source, this will be an invoice from our company. We want you to extract the following information. Semicolon, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we spell extract correct. And then this is the invoice. So we got an invoice here. This is a fake invoice. So there is no Tim Adams. But with this invoice, we got, you know, relevant information such as pricing, when it's due, description of the service, the customer's name, customer's email. So whatever is relevant to you, typically in the context of invoices, or maybe alternatively, whatever data you're trying to extract, whatever is pertinent to you, this is where we're going to outline it in the following instructions. So for today's example, I'm just going to simply put customer's email comma service comma price we can put more we can put less now we have identified the data we want to extract for the google sheet coming over to the google sheet we're going to simply add these as columns so if we put a customer and that is small y'all let me go and zoom in y'all there we go zoom in customer email price and what was the other one service <laughs> notice how the way I reference it here, customer email, price, service, I am referencing it with the exact same dictation here. That's important. That allows AI to understand which column to put the data into. Now that we have that, we can go and say, then put this data into a new row in our Google Sheets. Stop moving, Mike. Period. There we go. Once we put in the instructions, we have to add a trigger and action. But adding a trigger and action actually gives it the ability to kind of give you suggestions depending on your context. So we could use their suggestions here. I'm going to go ahead and just use like the new trigger that we have here, which is when I message the bot, it will do set action. So we're going to say grab data or yeah, we'll say grab data and add trigger. So basically anytime I message the bot and say grab data, this is like my workflow for grabbing data specifically in the context of invoices. Then we're going to go ahead and use an action here of create a spreadsheet row. Hit add. Make sure your account is connected. This is the wrong account for this context. I'm going to add my Google Sheets 2 account. So for this stuff, we actually want to identify some variables here. First one is we actually want to identify the specific spreadsheet we're using. So for us, we call it test data for obvious reasons. Next, we want to just go ahead and fine tune a little bit more here. Let's have it choose the specific sheet. There we go. For everything else though, we're gonna have AI generate the field and we're gonna hit add action. Now that we've done that, we're gonna simply turn on. Perfect. As you see from our workflow, what is the first thing that is required in our instructions? First thing that's required is a data source. The data source can be found here. Now currently the only data sources that Zapier Central has access to is Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Notion. I'm gonna show you a real quick trick here to how to leverage Google Docs. Also as a side note, let me know in the comments if you want a video 
that's specifically dedicated towards rather than us grabbing data and pushing it towards a Google Sheet more in, in terms of basically us looking through a Google Sheet, extracting data and seeing what's relevant to us in that context. Let's go ahead and do Google Docs though. So I'm in Google Docs here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag my invoice PDF. First thing I want you to know is that since it's a PDF, it's not gonna be able to pick this up in Zapier Central. Second thing I wanna know is that there's actually a way to automatically convert this into a doc so you don't have to go through this process. If you wanna see that, watch like the first five minutes of this video I'm referencing right here. This was like the old way to extract data from an invoice, but that first four blocks in that Zapier automation shows you how to extract data automatically and convert into a Google Doc. For this video though, I'm simply gonna right click. I'm gonna say open with Google Docs. Now that I've opened with Google Docs here, and it's huge, I'm gonna go ahead and just you know make this doc so we can understand it. So there we go, we got all the relevant information here. Corbin, that does not look good. It doesn't look pretty. It doesn't matter, AI doesn't care. AI just reads data. And this could look extremely jumbled and they'll still be able to understand it. From here, we're gonna go back to Excel bot, we're gonna Google Docs. We're gonna make sure that we have connected our Google Docs account. We're gonna simply add a document, invoice doc, add data source. So now that everything's set up here, this is where it gets impressive. I can go ahead and so we can kind of get like a visual of what's incurring in the back end. We're gonna go ahead and sit, say test behavior. In theory, I, didn't, I don't have to press that. It's actually live right now and all I'd have to do is message grab data and it would do it. But let's see what it's doing in the back end so we can understand this a little bit more. So we're gonna say test behavior here. I'm gonna get this nice little open up here, see what it does. One thing I want you to take note of about Zapier Central, which, which is really cool, is that like, you could do a chat GBT block and use their AI as well. So it's like a layering effect. What I'm showing you right now, when it comes to grabbing data from a invoice PDF, extracting it correctly and putting it towards a Google sheet would be way more extensive, extensive than what I just did right there. And to prove it to you, just watch that video that I referenced earlier. It required a lot more logic in order to achieve what we're about to do right now. As you'll see, this is kind of the movement and the steps that Zapier is taking towards making it a lot easier in a no-code way to do this kind of logic. Got our action here. Just to gut check, we're dealing with an email of timadams.gmail.com. We're dealing with a price of 400 and we're dealing with a service of AI article generator. From this test data, it was able to grab the customer email, the service, and the price. But Corbin, that's not in the sheet, or is it? Boom, there we go. We have successfully automatically grabbed this data so now we can front load this with a ton of invoices slash a bigger PDF that maybe has a ton of data that we need to extract page by page. And we know how to do it now. As of right now, we can't actually share Zapier Central bots, but if we could, I would share this bot. I think in the future, they'll probably allow that. But that concludes today's video. Make sure you leave a like, it's completely free. If this scratched a part of your brain, you were like, whoa, what is this? What did I just watch? What's going on here? Check out my playlist at the end here, which is Zapier and jumping into everything when it comes to AI. Check out my Zapier Central videos too, if you want to get more context on this. I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referencing about Zapier and AI. That's a random video. It made me be, I might be on a hike or it might be just another technical video. That's my face.